Today, we are gonna sneak in to here. This is the Central Missouri Correctional Center. While inside, you're gonna see what's at the top of this dark staircase. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't wanna do this. You're gonna see me go into this creepy basement area. It's so dark in here. This is freaking me out. And you'll also get to see all the weird stuff we find inside this place. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. There is a lot left of this place. I was kind of nervous to come here too. I just parked my car right outside. I'm hoping that wasn't a big mistake. Holy shit. Whoever this is, they were a good shot. After this, we're about to take a visit to the dental office. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff still left here. This is blowing my mind. Holy shit. Whoa, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> so there's like tape everywhere. Police line, do not cross. We got some books over here. Look how much there is to this place. An introduction to stress. I do kind of got to take a shit, but I think I'll pass. Storage and shit in here. It slammed way louder than I thought it would. Oh, look guys, the barber shop. Barber shop's a little small, but I'm sure back in the day you could come in here, get a nice fade and whatnot. I don't think we looked in here yet. We have a ton of files, the manual for the state of Missouri. Got some Christmas decorations to get you in the holiday spirit. Oh my God. Oh my God, I don't wanna do this. I really don't wanna go up here. That's gonna be good content. Guys, look at this. Look how spooky it is. That was without the flashlight. These stairs are so small. Okay, so this is after we get up the tiny staircase. Here's what it looks like looking down. And that leads up here to the old rooftop. This is pretty fucking cool up here. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna see you guys at the bottom of the staircase. I was worried I wasn't gonna get in here today. This is shaping up to be some good content for sure. There's a bunch of like mouse poop or something on the stairs. This room is pretty crazy. There's a bunch of shit in here. Not a good sign. Let's go over there, I wanna see that. There's like a pile of toys and stuff in this corner. Oh, look at all these board games, man. We got some classics. Hi-Ho Cherry-O, Rummy Cube Connect 4. A lot of like kids stuff in there on the other side of this glass. I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. There's one single shoe. There's more board games over there. There's a whole pile. Circuit breakers and electrical boxes, giant transformers. I'm not going down this hole, no shot. Honestly surprised I haven't run into any rodents in here. This is how you would get on the other side of that glass that we saw earlier, but Unfortunately, the door is locked. I don't know why you can walk right into this place. You can walk through the gate and through the door, but that one individual door is still locked, so. Here's the yard. That's where we were. We were on top of there. What are the chances this door opens? No way. I did not think that was gonna work. The guy that was telling me about this, he was right. It is very well preserved in here. Got yeah, the telephones here, right next to the toilets. Interesting setup we got going. Let's go upstairs. So we're upstairs now. Basically, we got the same exact layout. We got this blue room. 
I don't know what this room would be. We had this same room downstairs too. This would be a crazy place to come at nighttime, man. This would be scary. I know what you guys want. You want me to go in the creepy basement. God damn it. Before we go all the way down the hall to the dark part, we're gonna take this doorway on the left side and see what's in there. Storage. And then there's another staircase here. Oh, this is where you get the, the cigarettes. Interesting. Okay, not much. What do you think this is? Feels empty. Some notes in there. Ooh. We're getting festive once again, guys. Oh my fucking God. So dark in here. This is freaking me out. It is freaky being here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Kind of scared to walk on this plywood floor. Yeah, it was fucking scary down there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There's a really cool mural on the wall up here. I like this piece. This is very well done. Kind of opens up down here. And there's another mural on this wall. Under the sea, I like it. <laughs> That's really cool. The guy that told me about this place, he said he's been here like six to eight times and he still hasn't seen all of it. I can definitely believe that. This is one of the actual cells, I suppose. Here's more cells, here's the bunk beds. This is why I don't wanna get caught in here because I don't wanna be the one having to sleep on something like this. Damn, they even got like the tally marks on the wall like you see in the movies. I wonder if I'll find a poster and then I peel it back and there's like a giant tunnel that somebody dug <laughs> to escape. Can you imagine? Another cell. Here's another couple bunk beds. The other thing that amazes me about this place is there's like no graffiti in here. I've only seen a couple tags the whole time. I guess people either don't come in here that often or they just don't go crazy with the spray paint. There's more buildings too, guys. There's down there, down there. I think that's gonna wrap up the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This one was fun, also a little bit scary. So I will see you next time.